Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing this Duels of the Roses Gemini playthrough using reptiles and dinosaurs. Um, I believe we're about ready to um, start transitioning off of the um, dinosaur train and onto the um, more of a reptile type focus. So um, I put in five passwords um, to help me get closer towards that. Um, not quite there yet. Um, I also did a reincarnation just out of darkness approaches. Nothing too special. Um, so, um, our deck is getting a little better. Um, it's in a pretty decent spot. Um, we have the ability to go late with Mukamukas. We have, uh, the ability to fuse into Brachioritis. Um, I think I'm going to do like one or two more duels against uh, Rex and then we'll um, proceed to just pretty much finish out the side today. So um, go ahead and get that started. Uh, I'm going to take a very quick break because I forgot one thing real quick. Yeah, I forgot to grab myself a water. So just a small minor detail. Okay, so we have really overpowered deck leader, and we can um, play Brachioratus really easily, so or Mega Zowler. We have pretty much a great matchup against Rex here. We have a pretty good matchup against anyone that has a pretty open field because we can play so aggressively. Um, we're just going to trigger this. Double equips, huh? Well, that's not exactly going to give me much of anything that I really want, so goodbye. But we can take a Mesmeric Control from this guy, which is really good for us. I've been wanting a couple more traps, so... Um, and that's also a reptile there, um, which is good for us. Um, if we want to go more reptile focus, we're going to have to have some reptiles to actually use, besides just serpentine princesses. Um, really, I'm also just doing this as an excuse to get myself closer to um, my next reincarnation so I can have another Darkness Approaches before Weevil. I'm going to actually do Pegasus again, because I didn't grab Dharma Cannon from him as his hidden card. Um, and that's a pretty good card for me to grab, so... Wow, this is, this is quite the hand. Summon on card top left, huh? Um, so he played a Sinister Serpent for one summoning power. Um, honestly, a reptile I kind of actually would like to take from him. Um, because it's... It truly is a good card. Um, so I'll just mash him here with this, hit him a little bit, cause some damage. 
I'm probably gonna lose my Urabi. Oh, I was expecting to lose it for that creature. Um, we just go like this. So I can see what his card is. Okay. Um, so we'll just, uh, do this. We can take Sinister Serpent from him. Sinister Serpent's one of those cards that, like, it's really just fusion fodder for Omega Zowler. Um, but it does have a good effect. I mean, like, if its effect were on... I mean, if it were a flip effect, it would be insane. Like, I'd really like that to be a flip effect, honestly. Uh, let's try to grab the Sinister Serpent. I'm gonna save state just to make sure. There we go. Okay, um, we'll... We can add that to the deck, I guess. Um, it serves the same purpose as any of these down here. Um, it just has a better effect than them, so we can just remove those. Um, I don't think I'm going to need a Dharma Cannon this playthrough, but I wanted it just in case. Um, it is a pretty solid card in this deck because you can fuse into Cybersaurus. And that takes your Invigoration, so... And I make a lot of Wasteland terrain, so machines aren't innately bad. Uh, also, our time to win um, on this dinosaur deck, because this leader is so good, um, is quite quick. Um, we have a very powerful hand here. That's a twin-headed, probably. I mean, most likely with her deck, that's a twin-headed. Yes. Now, let's see how big this thing is. So, this can be a no-equipped twin-headed. I'm worried about her equipping a Twin-Headed because she just used two cards last turn. So, I'll do that. That is not an equipped Twin-Headed, so... Unfortunately for her, this duel is over. Um, I'm gonna move one space forward just to grab the Crush card that I'm not going to use. one thing I could definitely do if I want to make this even easier. I could put in the password for uh, Dark Piercing Light and a Burning Land. So I could see my opponent's cards and I could change field. That would be pretty good of me. Um, I don't think I need it, so I'm not going to. Um, but if you were playing Reptiles, I would recommend playing Burning Land. Uh, Burning Land's just a good card. Um, however much it's it's not an ideal card like it's never an ideal card to put in your deck but it is a good enough card that it's better than most of the random starting cards that you start with um, so went ahead we won we have 15 wins now we can do another reincarnation so I'm gonna reincarnate for another darkness approaches uh, reminder do not reincarnate a, the card that you're looking for or you will not get the card you were looking for. So I'll be right back. Okay, we got ourselves a Darkness Approaches. That took a while. Um, so what I'm going to do... 
since we're about to go against our good friend Weevil, we're going to put that as leader. Um, and I need to lower my deck cost because his deck cost is really low. Um, so unfortunately those darkness approaches aren't going to actually happen yet. Um, so we'll just remove these three um, and probably put in those and it's not going to really matter what we put in here because um, this duel is going to be an ooper. I'll probably go back to Tomasaurus for a little bit after this. Can I even play him at six? No. Okay. There we go. Okay. Deck cost fixed. 623 is actually a pretty low deck cost, honestly. Um, but as I said, I'm probably going to go back to Tomasaurus um, for this, the rest of this side. Um, and then I'll switch it up on the next side. Um, but this game is basically over already. Goodbye. So yeah, I don't really know, um... How to make this, um, any, uh fair for Weevil, but um, this is my recommendation if you're ever having an issue with Weevil. Because for some reason there's not much counterplay for him. I'm not really playing much Reptile, but... This seems pretty good. Yeah, um, so if you ever have an issue with Weevil, um, just do this. Uh, otherwise, um, I wonder if people would like to see me, um, actually have given Reptiles stronger leader powers. Um, they could kind of use something like increased resistance for same type friendlies. That would have been pretty good on them, I think. Uh, I mean, I know that would be extremely good on them, but I don't know if they'd be too strong then. Um, that's pretty much the only reason that I didn't give them stuff like that. So, I mean, that's a 1200 creature that gets pretty strong because of my leader powers. Um, I guess I could have also given them increased movement, uh, and that would have been pretty good because uh, increased movement's just busted, and uh, that would be the only way reptiles could in get increased movement. So um, I don't know, um, and that's pretty much one of the few good ways to actually um, change how strong an archetype is. Um, without, like, changing, seriously changing stat values or anything. Or massively messing with deck costs. Because honestly, I feel like the majority of reptiles and... Dinosaurs could be like two deck cost and it wouldn't matter. I mean, I guess if you made everything two deck cost and just put an opponent with 80 deck cost against a person, 
That would be pretty rude. That would be pretty good. Okay, now um, we can get rid of these low deck cost cards that I put in. Um, I'm gonna actually not use Emperor of Land and Sea for a bit. Um, we need just a little bit more to really justify the transition truly away from the full dino package. Um, we are getting there though, so... Um, also, that was not the duel to do it, because um, we kind of had to play... Um, we couldn't play with Serpentine Princesses, which are like the only thing that's good in Reptiles, um, because our deck cost was a problem. If there's any card I want to remove, a bear trap can go controls just better. Um, weather control is great for changing terrain. Um, for now we can... I think I might have too many rocks in my deck. There's a lot of rocks in here. We'll go ahead and do that for now. Adding more traps is great for um, lowering average deck cost of our plays for each turn. Um, so Richard is not going to have a very good time. Um, the main thing we have to do is transition out of dinosaurs before we get to shoddy. Um, because if we don't transition out of them by then, um, we're gonna have a real bad time against Shoddy. So. Well, this is a very unfortunate hand, because I would like to play Weather Control much further ahead. He played a Flame Cerberus with an Equip. Terrifying. Um, the draw that Mesmeric Control right now, I'm going to be a little sad that I removed uh, a rock for it. At least we shouldn't have too many issues with his leader power, so... Well, I guess we're going to play a Serpentine Princess right now. Well, this is about as much as we're going to get into doing reptiles for now, so enjoy. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big, um, big wolf and a big flame Cerberus. Unfortunately for him, uh, my creatures are really big. Serpentine princesses tend to get very strong very quickly. Um, let's see. Her, I do not have any monsters in the graveyard, so we'll just go like this. We'll put this wolf in the graveyard and continue pushing um, this game. Hopefully I don't have to chase him down too much. Oh, it looks like this is over. 
Oh yeah, it's definitely over. I can move just a little bit too quickly for him. As usual, just hit him twice with a 2,000 attack creature and you win. Kind of how this game works. Um, unfortunately, none of these equips really help me. Because, unfortunately, we don't have any flaming dinosaurs or flaming reptiles. That would have been pretty fun if there was a card like that, but there isn't. I believe we are pretty well off in this playthrough, though. I haven't... I mean, it hasn't felt like I've done a lot of farming, because the Tomasaurus uh, makes farming go so fast in each duel. Um, but we have done a lot of duels. We have uh, messed up Rex quite badly. And we messed up Weevil really badly. But I mean, Weevil kind of deserves that, right? Okay, so next up is Kaiba. Man, that's doubling our deck cost. Whenever I transition into reptiles, the deck is going to slow down considerably. We're going to go from a uh, just rush your opponent down strategy to a play quite defensively strategy. Um, so I want to use Serpentine Princess because it's level 4, so I can make a Brachioritis. Um, if I go two spaces here, I'm going to really start messing with him, so... That's a terrifying card. I did not see that thing. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Unfortunately, my Prisman isn't, um, only two stars, so this is slightly less good. Um, if he summons to his top left and attacks me, um, if it isn't exactly an MBD with an equip, I probably um, just don't care. Uh, that hurt, though, a lot. Um, I probably just kill him, though. I definitely just kill him. Complete disregard here for my own safety, but doesn't matter when your opponent's cooked. There should be more than enough cards in the graveyard for this Mooka Mooka to kill him, so not even worried.
I wonder how a human would actually stand up to that much um, aggression. Um, because that was a super aggressive um, duel. It doesn't help that Kaiba moves into it, but I mean, I guess a human would have just killed me, right? He would have attacked me directly with the MBD. Um, but that would be an extremely explosive matchup with both uh, players having the increased movement per leader. Oh, I shouldn't speed through this because uh, I'm just going to do a reincarnation and be done for the day. Because this guy can either take like a minute or he can take like 10. And like the average is somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to reincarnate Giant Keto and be right back. Well, I didn't really need to be right back. Because my first reincarnation was Darkness Approaches and a Gravity Mine. Um, and for this next opponent, I'm going to put in Gravity Mine. It's Gravity Mine's really good. Um, Dying Keto wouldn't be too bad. Probably over this configuration. But yeah. Um, so far, we've gotten pretty good. We've set ourselves up pretty well, so. I think we will get through uh, this guy tomorrow and then probably quite a ways into the next side. Although we're going to switch over to reptiles probably like next time. So um, the next side's going to probably slow down quite a bit. Although I might want to still keep dinosaurs for Tristan just to go faster, but we'll see. <coughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching and have a nice day.